How to label futures on ArcMap 10.8. Okay, here today we have the boundary of Taraba states by local government. So there are 16 local government in Taraba states. So, in case you don't know, um, I'm from Usa local government. To be precisely, here is my local government, this place. It has no administrative boundary. I don't know what our federal government are doing. Between Takum, local government, and Usa local government, there is no definite boundary. So, uh, if any government official of Nigeria watches this, they should do something about it. So, okay. So, so there are actually two chairmen within this place that have no boundary. So, to do that, you just right click and go to properties. And under properties, you go to label, and then you label this future, label futures in this layer, label all the futures in the same way here. Yeah? Uh, okay, then you come on the placement, then you select, you should try horizontal and then try straight, depending on anyone, because some of the boundary are small and some are big. So you also tell it to only place label in polygon then you remove duplicates okay and then you okay yeah so uh now what happened is that the most the smallest local government in taraba is jalingo so jalingo refused to appear because we asked it to place it uh only in polygon so if you zoom it to extend you will not see jalingo because the fonts being used will not be able to contain Jalingo but, but when you produce a map with it because the map has a definite scale like right now it's at 750 if you go over like 500 now you can virtually see everything 500,000 not 500 so yeah so that's one thing with it and then let's say because of this whole thing you are not um you want it to appear at all means so you can also edit uh individual labels by converting this current level into annotation so to do that you right click on this and then you come convert labels to annotation so uh you said in the map not in database so i think basically every other thing you can leave it like that uh i think let's make the reference scale 500 thousand or oh, let's leave it at okay so let's leave it at one is to one million and convert then it's in the map and not in the this thing then we convert so now that it's converted you come and click on your select element so when you pick on jalingo jalingo is now selected now at all round when you go it's not going to use that reference scale no more but it's going to allow every of them to remain now if i click i can edit this i can turn it to any angle i want let's say i want all of them to uh go on a different angle let's say i want all of them to stand like this yeah so though i know jalingo won't stand but let's say i want all of them to go in a different direction i can individually edit them okay so i can individually edit them to that but i cannot do that directly when everything has the same scale you know so i have to individually do that so that is all i bring today so for more video visit our video archive